Our next presenter is going to share with you a practical plan to take this nation back. I do not believe that Jesus is done with this nation yet. America chose God. God chose Israel. And I know as long as we choose Jesus, I believe God's not done with this nation. So ladies and gentlemen, please stand to your feet and greet John Quan Dobo. So I am John Guandolo. I'm the founder of Understanding the Threat, and our website is understandingthethreat.com. And what Understanding the Threat is, is an extension of the work that I did inside the government, both with the FBI and the Department of Defense. And that work focused on the organized and coordinated efforts by the global Islamic movement and the communist movement and the collaborators and people assisting them. There's a letter I asked some gentlemen to write about eight years ago, and it's signed by these four former CIA director, Director of Defense Intelligence Agency, Inspector General of the DOD, and uh, Jerry Boykin. And what they said was this, that while we were in these official capacities in the government, we did not know this information until John Guandola briefed us. I'll give a shout out to uh, an organization that I, uh, I do uh, appreciate and do support is understanding the threat. And they do some great, great reporting on these kinds of issues. America, our nation, is in the greatest battle for our survival we have ever faced. This enemy, this conglomerate enemy, which is made up of a lot of different entities, seeks control of the state and power. Their behavior is not bizarre, crazy, or loony. It is exactly what their doctrine requires them to do. And the problem is, when we focus on the issues, our leaders create policies against them. Well, guess what? You don't win wars with policies. The enemy's intent is to keep you focused on things that keep you from winning the war and defeating them. While you're dealing with the policies and the issues, the root cause is untouched. The root cause is a conglomerate of the Islamic communist movement, their collaborators, and their financiers. What understanding the threat does that nobody else does in the country, and I would argue in the West, is we train you how to identify these things in your local community and flush them out. Literally, that's the key to the campaign for victory. God has given you skills and talents, and they must be brought to bear right now. The key is getting into action. We run an into action training program and we show you how to identify these individuals and organizations and how to flush them out of your community while reestablishing a Republican form of government at the county level. That's where we win or lose the entire war. Some of you will ask, what about uh, Klaus Schwab? What about the UN? Do you know what you can do about the UN and what they're doing? Nothing. Do you know what you can do about the World Economic Forum and what they're doing? Nothing. What you can do and what we will help you do is show you where their nasty tentacles come into your county, if they are, and in many places they are, and how to cut it off. And so if we look at a place like Minnesota, where the Twin Cities are a disaster in Hennepin County, you don't begin in those counties. You don't begin in Dallas County. You don't begin in Columbus, Ohio. Those places are train wrecks. You begin in counties with light enemy and patriotic citizens and what you do is you start setting up in those counties and you surround these places and you isolate them and again as you expand into adjoining counties you start to grow that you isolate them and let them implode if your thing is pro-life and that's what you do i'm not telling you to stop that and do something different i'm not adding something to your plate this training will make you a thousand percent more effective so i'm asking you to do two things come and bring this training to your to your community get trained and get in the fight or fund the war effort think about donating a recurring amount of something ten dollars twenty dollars five hundred dollars we need troops in this army this is the greatest nation in the history of the world we need you now to take the fight to the enemy and put freedom back on the offensive where it belongs. Join us. Thank you and God bless you.